congratulations on the film. I loved it. My palms were sweaty. I just spoke with Tom. <laughs> all the stunts are real and I freaked out. Um, but Gal, every legendary spy has something signature about them. What is that for Rachel Stone? Oh, first of all, she loves mac and cheese. Uh, two, <laughs> um, I don't know. She's like a loose cannon. She's like a wild woman uh, who, on the one hand, has a really good sense of justice, but on the other hand, you know, she, it's, it, as much as she's an incredible secret agent, she finds it really hard to work within the system and follow the rules. So that, like, clash is super interesting and delicious. Um, yeah, and the mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese, but the Heart of Stone title is so good because there's, like, this vulnerability, we talked about this, and, like, just a, a sense of like earnestness that you bring forth so well. But Alia, Thank as you. I mentioned, the stunts in this film, they're so, so good. I'm wondering what it was like for you to train for this. How did you prepare? What was it like? Well, um, lesser known fact, I was actually pregnant during we were shooting the film. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, so I couldn't do a lot of this stuff while I was pregnant. And that's why there was... Um, Again, without giving too much away, um, there was a lot, um, and kudos to the whole team um, to make sure that I was very well protected and safety, I mean, is of utmost importance for all actors. But in my case, it was even more, uh, you know, they were even more particular about it. Um, but it was quite interesting to even go through all those beats uh, and not everyone knew. Gal knew, of course, and the stunt team knew, but go through all those sequences whilst being pregnant. Sometimes it was just like difficult for me to get my legs up and like go into the squat <laughs> position and stuff like that. So all of that was really interesting. Um, the wire work was a first for me. We did the wire work post after, you know, I had delivered and everything was safe. That was the first for me because hanging for like eight hours in a day um, and doing all those things in the air. But when you see the final picture and all the effects and everything comes in, it's all so worth it. And it's like, oh my God, did I do that? That looks really cool. That's me. I'm so, so honored. I, I'm speaking with yeah. two Wonder Women, clearly. Uh, last question for you, Gal. You take on these iconic roles so often. I'm wondering when the filming day is done, how do you kind of get back to yourself and shed the character? So I'll tell you a funny anecdote and that's gonna sum up the whole thing. We've been, we've been promoting this movie and we just came back from Brazil where we felt like we were rock stars, literally. We went live with 20,000 people shouting our names and sending so much love our way. It was electric. I came back home, uh, you know, first thing in the morning. I'm with my daughters. The, the oldest two are asleep. The baby one is awake and she's eating hummus with pita chips and she's dipping it, it in the hummus and then she just it fell on the carpet and my mom <laughs> calls me and I'm like mom I need to clean the carpet it has hummus all over it it's like life is grounding life is healthy it's the good balance between on the one t you know one second you're here and one second you're like completely normal folding laundry or doing, you know, or cooking dinner. Um, I love that. I love the fact that I get to enjoy uh, both worlds. And um, yeah, it's life. Humbling, but I'm sending so much heart and so much love to both of you. Thank you so much for your time. Congrats. Thank you. Lovely speaking to you. So good to meet you, Jamie, and congratulations on the film. Wondering what your training was like for Heart of Stone. Pretty intense, pretty full on, you know. Um, I'm someone who likes to keep myself in relatively good nick anyway. Uh, I'm a pretty active person. I, I'm not very good at, um, you know, I, it has a big effect on me if I'm not exercising in some way or training or playing sport. Uh, uh, I don't sleep well, I, I don't feel good. And so, uh, but this was heightened, you know, I had to, a lot of stunt training, a lot of a lot of fighting, a lot of throwing guys 
and girls who are probably stronger than me around the place and uh, making that look convincing. So, yeah, I had a lot of I had a lot of uh, had a lot of fun with it, um, and I, I definitely enjoy that aspect of my job when it when it pops up. Yeah, what was it like for you to start in this action film? I know you've done action before, but on this level, I can imagine it's international. I was sweating, like my palms were sweating watching these stunts. Uh, so was it smooth sales or any injuries on set? I want to know some like fun details. Yeah, I don't think there was any uh, injuries. You know, you do, you, you finish those days feeling a little black and blue and you will get the odd neck here and, you know, a little... You know, look, you don't want to be the guy complaining about like, you know, a what, two millimeter like slice on your finger <laughs> that you've got in the middle of a fight scene. Uh, well, whatever. I don't want to be that guy. Um, but you do. You definitely, I picked up a few scrapes along the way, but um, felt very safe. Had an unbelievable team around us. But, uh, you know, the, by the nature of what you're doing in the confined space, sometimes you're doing it, you're going to get bumped around a bit. But. It was all good fun. I don't. I. I, I don't mind that. I, I. played a ton of rugby growing up, but I. I, I don't mind people, uh, hitting me. It's quite. I find it quite fun actually. So, um. Yeah. I'm. I'm all for it. Also, want to know what it was like to work with Gal. She's just brilliant. You know. She's. She's. She's so. In her rightful place in leading movies like this, you know what I mean. And she's proven time and time again that she's so capable of of being in that position. And it's. It's a lofty position to be in, and it's no easy feat to to carry movies of this scale that have this much attention and uh, sort of money behind them and, and interest behind them. And uh, it's a it's a it's a very impressive thing, and she does it with with grace and decorum and 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 grit and strength and humor. Uh, it's 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 very cool, and uh, yeah, I just I just love working with her. I love the whole cast, but you know. Gal's at the forefront of all of it. And um, yeah, she, she made it super easy. Also, last question for you. I love the artificial intelligence angle of the movie. I'm not going to give anything away, but yeah. in real life, how do you feel about AI? Because this is really timely for our industry. Are you hesitant? Are you ready for the future? Like, what are your feelings? <laughs> but I think I'm a bit terrified probably if I, it's when I allow myself to think about it too much. Now, we made this movie without that really being the public consciousness in the way it is today. It's so weird that now a year and a half after making the movie or a year after finishing the movie, it's so prevalent in our daily news cycle and, and our daily consciousness. Globally, it's mad how that sort of worked out and how, the timing of it. But um, God, I think if any of us allow ourselves to think about it, it is it's it is truly terrifying uh, uh, how big it is and how... Uh, how scary it can become if not handled in the right way. And you're putting a lot of trust in uh, things that are sort of beyond your comprehension. And there's trust in some people leading up to that point. And often people in power are the hardest people to trust. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't uh, thinking about it, I wasn't scared of it. Totally agree. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations again. I know fans are going to love this one. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers. The film is stunning. The stunts are next level. So I want to hear a little bit about the different locations you use to film. And also, how would you compare how much of the film is actually movie and how much of it is movie magic, like green screen, special effects, all that good stuff? Well, um, like almost everything we did for real um but then there's a healthy amount of enhancement um that goes on but but yeah you know like the the the, the coming to, you know the, the sequence down the mountain in the italian alps was all done for real um the um the car chase was all real the skydiving was all real so yeah there are sections of it that are that are sort of enhanced and there's obviously there's safety equipment that needed to be painted out and there was um, you know, enhancement of some of the explosions, but basically everything that you see, we did for real. That makes my palms sweat a lot more because I was like, it's just a movie. They're not in danger, but the stunts look so good. And just really quickly to circle back, where did you guys film? Because this looks so international. 
Yeah, I think it was one one of the things I enjoyed most about the, the movie was, was getting to go to. We I think we filmed in six countries. We're in Morocco and Portugal and Iceland and Italy and the UK and we shot some in the US as well. So yeah, that was uh, and and one of the things I really like about it is that it just you know if you are in that place, it gives a texture and a feeling. And you know, of course, you can re recreate places and you can build sets, but there's something about being there that gives it sort of an extra level of reality and that I really, really love. And um, and I think that sort of goes into the kind of one of the core things that we were trying to achieve with the film is it, it was like a grounded action thriller that felt consequential and that you really kind of believe in these characters that feel human and rather than kind of something that was more in the superhero genre, we wanted this to feel more connected to reality and going to these amazing locations and getting the benefit of 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 them and the, the the influences from from those different places was was part of that that humanity absolutely comes through and matthias kind of speaking to the healthy level of special effects i was really glad i got to see an unfinished version because it reminded me like oh sometimes these actors are not working entirely with this technology or these graphics and the things that you see in the final cut what was it like to use your imagination and those tools that you have in the actor's toolkit, but then also have these incredible sets and locations. I mean, you know, when I tried to use my imagination, I was most of the time like definitely really, really wrong because uh, <laughs> because uh, when I looked to the left, Tom said, no, it's on the right. So um, <laughs> it's uh, okay. You want me to look down? No, please look up. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so because uh, we had this huge room and, um, and when we started to prep for the film, we explored, hey, this, this, this computer needs its own language. We need to create an own language to, f to communicate with it, yeah? And, and especially what I do in my scenes, at the end, we will see it, you know, in all the other scenes that Gal is like, you know, what is it called? Gallied or driving a slope or, you know, it's, yeah, we, we tried our best. We, 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 we did it. We, we did it on every day. We tried to really find the right movements and the right language for that, for that computer thing. And last one for both of you. What was it like to work with Gal? Because I think when we talk about the humanity that comes through for a spy action thriller, she really brings a lot of that sincerity and that earnestness forward. Gal is the I, best. Yeah. Talk. Gal's amazing. Like she was really, you know, she's she lies at the center of this movie. It was the the, the movie came out of conversations that she had. Uh, with with Skydance, uh, the production company, that, at the beginning, so it, it sort of started with her and and grew out of the conversations she had, and she was she was really the centre of of so much of it, and um, and she's just this kind of fantastic, effervescent, warm character who 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 brings strength and vulnerability to the role in equal measure, and uh, yeah, it was it was a pleasure working with her. Gal is the best, and every day with her because she's so she has such a warm heart, and she's taking care of everyone and she's uh you know she's always there you can always talk to her and she's so involved and 150 percent focused on her part and and making sure that that you know it's she's she's just amazing amazing congratulations again on the film i can't wait for everyone else to see it thanks so much yeah. Yeah. watch heart of stone <laughs>